Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect any headset to your PlayStation 4 with three easy tips. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. Now the first method to connect a headset to your PlayStation 4 that I'm going to show you is the Bluetooth connection. And I have a Bluetooth headset right here that I'm going to go ahead and try to connect to my PlayStation 4. The first thing that we need to do is go to our PlayStation, scroll up to settings on the top bar and go to settings and scroll down to devices and then go to Bluetooth devices right here, select that. And then you're going to want to put your Bluetooth headset into pairing mode. And once it's in pairing mode, it should pop up on the screen and just go ahead and select it from there. However, the vast majority of headsets do not work through Bluetooth connections. You'll get a message on your screen that pops up that says, this device is not supported. I believe only certified PlayStation headsets can connect via Bluetooth. And that's a drag because there's so many good Bluetooth headsets out there that you just simply cannot use with your PlayStation. Or can you? I have my Bluetooth headset right here that I can still use with my PlayStation even though it's not connected via Bluetooth. I have this amazing audio cable right here that has two 3.5 millimeter ends on it and I can connect this to my headphone jack on my headset right here by plugging it in and then plugging in the other end to the headphone jack on my PlayStation controller. Then on my PlayStation 4, I can go to Devices, Audio Devices, and change my output to my headphones connect to controller. And then I will have sound coming through my headset. If you look in the description down below, I'll have a link to this cable on Amazon. It's only like five bucks. And many headsets do come with this cable. And I got this cable with a headset. This is the PDP Sound of Justice headset, similar to the AG9. So check around your house, you may have this cable already just around. So now I have the sound coming through my headset. The only problem is I don't have a microphone. Or do I? Here is a microphone that connects via USB. And I can plug this into the front of my PlayStation 4. And then over on my PlayStation I can go to input devices and I can select my input to my USB microphone. So now I have sound through my headphones and I can use my USB microphone to talk to my party or in game chat while using any headset I want. Now there is another way that you can get audio into any headphone that you want and this is by directly plugging your 3.5 millimeter cable into your TV or your speakers. So a lot of TVs do have an audio out option on the back of them or even my gaming monitor which is in front of me. I have a place where I can plug in headphones to it and get the audio through my headphones. And this will allow me to bypass plugging it into my controller if I have maybe another microphone I want to use. Like this microphone, similar to a lapel microphone. This one came with the PlayStation 4 and this is just the cheap one. It's, I, I think this is only like 11 bucks or something. I can go ahead and plug this one into the bottom of my PlayStation right here. And this is what I usually do. And then I connect this to the cable that's hanging down from my headset. And then I have the microphone right here. It's clipped on to my headset. And then I have the audio through my headset. So that's what I've been doing. Because my PDP Sound of Justice headset, the microphone no longer works. So I have to plug it in via the auxiliary cord with the 3.5 millimeter end. And then I just use a external microphone, this uh, standard PlayStation one, to get perfect audio quality and microphone quality. And the last easy way to connect your headset to your PlayStation is via a USB dongle, just like this. And this will come with your USB headset and this will transmit audio wirelessly to your headset and it's as simple as plugging in a controller. So you just go ahead and take this and plug it into the USB port on the front of your PlayStation 4 and then you're going to have a power option somewhere on your headset. On mine I have to hold down this button right here on the side and it will go ahead and connect. And most of the time with these you don't have to worry about syncing up with your headset because it already is synced to it when it comes out of the box. And it should pop up on the screen somewhere on your PlayStation 4 and you'll have to log into one of your profiles 
If this video helped you out connecting any headset to your PlayStation 4, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other amazing videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.